Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to introduce to you guys the very basics of surface modeling, also known as freeforming. First thing I'm going to do is go under 3D model, then I'm going to go to create freeform. We're going to focus mainly on this tool right here. If you press the drop down menu where it says box, you're going to see these six different shapes. I'm going to choose box for our example, and then you're going to see this menu pop up right here. If you choose any of those other shapes, the same menu is going to pop up. Right now, they're going to ask me to choose a plane in which I want to create my box on. So I'm going to choose the XY plane. Next, they're going to ask me where I want to snap my box onto. I'm just going to choose the origin. Then you're going to see that this box appears. And you can change the direction of this box in which place. And you can make it grow, make it stretch. You could also change it within the length, width, and height parameters. In direction, you can choose the plane to be in the very back, to snap on the back, or you can snap it to the origin. For the faces, what this does is it allows you to have multiple faces so you can surface model off of. If you want to distort this face right here into a certain shape, you could do that. If you want to create more faces, you can insert more faces. So for me, I'm just going to insert 10, and you're going to notice the more faces I insert, the more square my object's going to be. It's also going to be more complex when I surface model this, because there's going to be a lot more options that I could surface model. If you choose less, you're going to have less surfaces, but you can always create more later. Within symmetry, you can choose your shape to be symmetric whenever you're surface modeling. So for example, if you change the top, it's going to change the bottom as well. So it's like a mirror effect, and you can mirror it within the X direction, the Y direction, and the Z direction. Once you get your desired setting, press OK, and then you, you can begin surface modeling. I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks.